Hey, it's Mike with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Thursday. It's June 1st. This will be our chart lesson for today, and we just turned over another month. Uh, in a couple of weeks, we'll be uh, rolling over to the September contract, so we don't have much longer to go on this contract. Uh, just keep that in mind. Um, Looking at the chart today, it looked like yesterday we talked about it. It looked like that maybe we were getting a bounce off the uh, a reversal off the EMA, which is this purple line right through here. So, and of course we did, and we we had a really strong bullish day today. After selling off early, it looked like we were going to go lower. Prices bounced, and and it was all uphill after that. So we closed a little off the high, but it fairly strong bullish day today. Uh, this market just wants to go higher, so don't argue with it when it turns and starts. Whichever way it goes, go with it. Where you have to be careful is on the intraday chart when it's choppy like this. You can get chopped to pieces, but when it starts trending, just get on board and try to find the entry point and go with it. Um, again, there weren't a lot of trades today, but there were more, probably more trades today than we saw the previous day. But um, uh, it is what it is. So, but let's uh, let's flip over to the 2000 tick chart and we'll go through the trades and we'll wrap up this week so okay here's a look at our intraday chart you can see we started out in what looked like was going to be a range and then we broke out up here notice this is what you want to see notice how we tested this uh, resistance and active support multiple times when you got that third touch that's what you like to see and then prices rallied on out of there the problem here was there, there's an entry a possible entry here uh, on this bar but there's not a lot of room we did push out already and then come back and get another double test so I really should have marked that green uh, I like entering there but it's still somewhat risky just because there's not much room here if you ha you actually do have a little more room to this high than you do this but there's still probably not enough to, to scalp out there well, maybe there is just enough. So, um, I mean, that's real close. You could still argue this to be uh, green, but uh, maybe it's close enough to be blue. So, but look at all. That's what you want to see. Multiple tests that continue to hold. And then you know this is not resistance anymore, but support. At first, it, it but just like always, it fails at first. And then it has to find some traction. Sometimes it doesn't take this many tests and it'll rock it on up. But when you start to get this many tests, it's a good sign that, hey, we may go higher. But what will happen a lot of times is they'll trap people here and getting them in too early. And then they'll let it fall out of this little range and fail and then take it off. So you got to be careful here. All the, It's pretty obvious we're probably going to go higher from here by the time we get down here. But the key is the timing. And I've talked about this a lot lately. Is sometimes you can get it right, but your timing be off. But you can clearly see we have two higher lows here and really a double bottom. And so that gives that a little more credence. But we'll talk about that again when we get to it. But I pretty much explained that one. But let's let's back up here and uh, start with trade one and we'll go from there. You also had a couple of or you had several high volatility news items in here. So you got to be careful of those right now. Lately, they haven't been affecting the market quite as much as what we were getting when the volatility was super crazy uh, but you still need to be aware of it uh, and if you want to be flat during those uh, it might still be smart to do that because we might I don't think we're out of a, the woods yet economically I think uh, even though this market's going higher um, you know we could turn it any minute and the bottom fall out of it so it, it could continue to go higher uh, we may go much higher before it's over uh, but I just don't think we're out of the woods economically yet, and um, things could still happen. So just keep that in mind. So really, you couldn't hardly take a trade today till after about 7.45, if you're following that rule, which I think you should still. And you actually get a second entry here. I did not mark the second entry. Uh, I think you could have taken that. I guess I should have at least made that green. I think you could take that. Uh, it's clearly two legs up. And uh, you do have a break in a new high, but usually you're better off to wait on a lower high. Uh, if this was still right off the trend line, I probably would have marked it red. Here, you probably mark it green because um, 
as you can see, we did try to go higher one more time and then go short right there. I like that one. So now you've had your break and a new low and you get you get actually get a trend up, a break and another move up and then you get another little trend down. This is a total separate trend from this first one. Uh, maybe you could find some way to draw this out here. Um, and this is your first break and that may be why it looks like this and maybe this is uh, the first break because you can see if I change that uh, this does look like a break and then a move to a new low before we bounce. So however you saw that, uh, as I've said before, you don't have to get these exactly right. Sometimes there's no doubt that it's right and anything else would look wrong. But in this case, that's how I would normally draw it. You get a break, a new low, and then it looks like we try to rally. And some people look like they were trying to, there's no setup to go long. So if you follow the rules, you don't get burned. But then you draw it like this. And you can't really argue with that. It still looks valid. It still fits really well. In fact, that might even fit better because that explains uh, why we try to turn back down there because we were running back into that trend line. But we still get a break, move to a new low. So however you see it, that's okay. Uh, unfortunately, there's just not a good setup down through here. There is a second entry short right here, but that's an uh, an inside doji, and that's real congested. Same thing here, just too flat. Uh, here, it's really, it's very risky to go long at the bottom of a move. Uh, and what I mean by that, if this was the far right side of your chart, it looks like that. And this is the low of this whole move. That's a dangerous place to go short, especially right into another low. So as tempting as that is, and maybe it even works, I'm not going to go short there. Actually, I think you would have got stopped out. Uh, let's just see how many. What is the problem? Yeah, see, there's only five ticks there. And then it runs up and it runs your stop. And then goes exactly where you thought it would go. So you got to be careful with those. And that's why I'm not real crazy about those. Uh, those bars that make that low of the move like that. You want this last swing to have been lower than this bar, and you got plenty of room back uh, because they like to go back and retest previous lows and things like that. So, um, but anyway, you get another move up, breaks the trend line, runs to a new low, and you get a little double test there, and then we're gone higher. I don't like going long here again. It, it looks a little congested. You're still making lower lows and lower highs. Uh, this bar is pretty strong, and you might look at that as a triple test. Um, but again, it's right in this blue stuff, so I didn't mark anything in here. Uh, and then by 9.05, it was pretty obvious we weren't going to get much craziness or anything out of this. So now we're kind of back to normal. You do get a second entry long here, but signal bar is no good. Um, you get another inside bar here but now you're congested so there's just no setup there really um, you've already had a break in new high you might get another leg up but I'd wait on a second entry here or at least something back to make a triple test or back to the EMA or something and it, it makes two measured legs up and guess what you get this big bearish bar way away from the EMA maybe you take that but again, you're better off to wait on that lower high right here. That's a that's a really big bar, but I still like that bar. Uh, I can't remember if that, no, it did not break higher. Uh, if that broke higher first, you might trade that as an engulfing bar. Uh, and, I'd, and I'd be good with that. But here it doesn't close to here. So the issue you've got with this one is it's 17 ticks, which is for today is pretty big bar, but... I still like going short right there. Uh, then you get a failed second entry long here. Uh, but again, it's one of those low bars, and I'm just not crazy about it. I marked it green because it, it, it does act as a trap. Uh, if it breaks higher right there and turns down, it's probably going to trap people. And you can see it moved down here pretty quickly and kind of found some support before it went on lower. But you got to be careful going short because, once again, if you see that on the far right-hand side of your chart, you're going low at the low of that bar. And I, it's just not a good idea. And I've seen a few of those lately for whatever reason. 
Um, some of them worked and some of them hadn't. So you just have to be careful with them, especially on a reversal. A reversal is tough anyway, so most of you just ignore that setup. And, but I'm going to talk about them because there's some of our traders that will trade them. But anyway, you 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 get a close outside, a couple of legs down to a new low, and then you bounce. Look out, it just shoots right through the EMA, no resistance, and comes back and tests it a couple of times. And then makes this higher low. It breaks lower and fails and turns up. When this closes outside of here... Uh, I like going long here. What you might do is let it break higher and drop your limit order a tick or two in uh, and see if you can get a little better feel. Uh, but I wouldn't have a problem just going long right there because we're probably going higher. This is the middle of the range, but we hadn't got to the high yet and we're way away from the low or, or far away from the low. So there's a good chance we're still going higher if we close above that midline and break above that bar. I marked it green. <laughs> Because it is a little, um, it is a little risky. But it, it's if you understand what's going on, take that trade. And then notice you you move, run on up, and of course it finds resistance right there. And then you get that failed breakout, and you get a first entry, a second entry, and then you get a third entry. But you get that higher or low. If this breaks above that bar, you're going to probably get a scalp because we're probably going to re try to retest this high. Um, You'd want to look over here and see if you could get a measured move. And you can see that measured move. Um, we've already surpassed that, but uh, you're still probably going to retest that high. This one is real close. You, if it wasn't such a bullish bar, uh, I'd probably mark that green. If it was a little smaller bar or something because it does it looks like it's going to be a little congested but this makes such a move higher and closes if it breaks above that you'll get a scalp out of it most likely so I marked it blue but and the main reason too is uh, you didn't really get a whole lot of resistance off this uh, this turned down for just a second and then this made a high and this came back and you made a little double bottom there so you're probably going to at least retest that high. I thought it would go higher than it did here, but this is the concern with it, is that maybe you don't get a scalp out of it and it turns back down. But this thing looked like it was going higher. Um, and then when you get, but but before you really try to jump on above this, you want to see that triple test, and you can see it right there. Uh, and I like that one. And of course, it runs up, and you get a first entry. And then a second entry short. I don't think you want to go short here at all. But when it bounces off that trend line on a failed second entry short and gives you that nice bullish bar, if it breaks above that, go with it. Um, we just kind of chop along after that. Uh, there's just the first entry there. This is getting a little, of course, you got a trend break and you're looking for a new high. But this thing just keeps going. Uh, and you can tell this is a strong trend now. Um, there's actually... A trend line working up through here like so and so any of these bars that pull back like this one or this one to give you a good signal bar or even that one if you understand what's going on maybe you take those but you really need to know what you're doing uh, that's all I'll say on that um, but you've heard me talk about those strong trends when you see these little bars Lots of stems and dojis on both sides, and, you, and your corrections are very shallow. Those are strong trends. And just about any bar that pulls back to a major trend line that gives you, that makes a correction. So this one, this one would have made a correction. This one, this one. And, of course, this one would, but you're outside the trend line now. You're not off the trend line, so you got to be careful. You can't take that one. But then we break on high. We just start going sideways here. I wouldn't do anything in there. There's no real setup. And then we start running across here, and we get a failed breakout. It bounces right off the trend line with another nice signal bar. And this is, let me zoom in here where we can see this a little better. Let me go back here. So you can see that's a pullback, that's a pullback, that's a pullback. Um, once you start to recognize that and they're off those key entry points, if you want, you know, if you want to be a little aggressive, take those because they're usually really strong trades. 
but you can see that bar it actually breaks lower and turns it's an engulfing bar you might even trade that one when it pushes past the end of this one I wouldn't have a problem trading the engulfing bar but when it closes right there if it breaks above it we'll probably go higher which we did so take it either way then we're just kind of chopping sideways here I don't see anything I'd want to take um, we do get a close outside it's not really a convincing close uh, and a two legs up so I don't think we're done yet I think this is uh, too close to be considered a uh, convincing close outside but here you get one now it's it's obvious we've closed outside and notice the new high first entry pulls back gives you a triple test and a second entry long there um, this one is close to being blue the reason it's not is it does look a little congested and it's still below the EMA um, and you can see it did struggle a little bit to go higher but it does go higher all the same so which is what you would expect there you would expect a retest of this high so I like that one but it is green and then here we go again and even though this is a retest normally I don't draw the trend channel on these but it doesn't mean you can't especially if it's a strong trend like this with the bars like we just talked about so any correction back with a decent bar you could go long pretty much uh, you got one here I mean uh, maybe you consider that one I'd want to see it break lower probably uh, same thing here you would really like to see it break lower but here's a second entry here but I didn't really like going long here because we already had the break and easily had a new high and this is outside the trend line so it could come all the way back to the EMA before it goes back and tries to retest this high and it may not even retest the high because this is a retest move on its own so that's the concerns you have there there is a triple test here but I don't think that bar is bare enough bearish enough to go short I mean you can see the triple test right across there one two three uh, does that bar qualify it looks close but I, I'd probably skip it and then now we're headed down just as strong as we were headed up um, but I don't think you want to go short this close to 230 on this um, and then I get you into 230 and we just kind of went mostly sideways to slightly back up so that's how I saw it today um, Just trying to think if there's anything else I want to discuss with you here. I don't see anything else. It's all pretty standard. This this one, again, this one's real close. Um, you might argue for that to be green, but other than that, uh, you know, it's most of these others are pretty straightforward. So anyway, that's going to wrap up our day, and that's going to wrap up our week. Um, I'm about caught up on my email. I've been trying to get to the forum and answer a few questions so I'll try to work on that tomorrow some before we go into the weekend and uh, other than that we'll be back Monday to do it again no chart lessons on Fridays if you're new I only do them Monday through Thursdays uh, one time I did a Monday through Friday we just got to be too much it, there's more that goes into these videos you think they're it probably seems real simple when you're sitting on the other side of the screen there but um, I spent an hour and a half to two hours a day doing these videos and you think after I've been doing these things for years now so it starts to it starts to be a lot of work and so I finally had to just stop doing them on Fridays because I like to leave at noon on Fridays anyway I and mean, that's why we want to be traders is to free up our time and to enjoy our freedom and um, you know if I have to wait around on Friday till 2.30 to do a chart lesson and then go through the recording I just can't you know it ends up being another full work day for me so um, so I finally just decided to stop doing them. so that's the purpose a lot of times people ask me what I do something abbreviated on Friday um, you know I've kicked the other ideas around but I kind of like just having my Friday free and having a chance to get out of here early and um, not be tied down to this desk and the screen so um, anyway that's going to wrap up our day that's going to wrap up our week we'll be back monday i'm done for today this is mac with priceactiontradingsystem.com and we'll see you next time